A friend of mine brought over this dartboard a few months ago and we've been playing a lot of cricket ever since. I wanted to come up with a way to utilize this steel cabinet as a chalkboard and I mean to prevent us from using all the paper in my garage to keep score on. So I came up with this method and if you want to see how I did it, why don't you stick around. I went to my scrap bin and luckily I had just enough walnut laying around. I jointed all the pieces so I could get two perpendicular sides. So then I could take them all to the table saw, cut them down to length and width. I set a marking gauge for the width of my boards and I marked all the ends since I was going to be doing half lap joints. Then just using my cross cut sled and the regular table saw blade, I cut all of my half lap joints. I did have to clean them up with my chisels later on. Using a half inch brad point bit, I drilled the hole that I was going to put the magnets in. Now I got about 40 of these magnets for about $12 on Amazon and I'll put a link in the description. I put a small chamfer on what was going to be the inside corner of the frame. Then I routed a small groove in the bottom section of the frame that was going to be my chalk holder. I just used some five minute epoxy to put all of the magnets in. I started off with six magnets, but I later went to 12. Uh, I originally put it on and it held, but if I shook the door, it would slide down. To make the half lap joint really have some style, I put another chamfer on the end of the styles to match the chamfer on the inside corner of the rails. I quickly sanded all of the inside corners just because it was going to be easier this way before final assembly. I wanted to make sure that I got this thing square, so I checked it more than a couple times and on all sides before applying full pressure with the clamps. I put a much larger chamfer on the outside corner just for style and then gave everything a nice sand. To finish it all off, I used Watco Danish oil. To turn my steel cabinet into a chalkboard, I put the frame on the cabinet and then using a pencil, I marked the inside parameter of the frame. I then took it off and I taped the outside of that marking with tape. Then just using some 400 grit sandpaper and my orbital sander, I went around and just kind of briefly sanded, not too much, just enough to rough it up. Roughing up just a little bit lets the chalk rub off on the steel cabinet and act just like a chalkboard. And at this point, put the frame on and you're done. Now I've got a nice chalkboard for my dart games, or if I want to do something else like write ideas up there for something in the shop, it's really easy. And I mean, it'll pretty much erase just like any other chalkboard. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, why don't you go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you think about this project or what you might have done differently. And if this is your first time here, why don't you go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Also, I wanted to mention that the store on my website is now available to where you can purchase t-shirts, stickers, and decals. And you can also go check out the accompanying blog post to this video.